so how did you first get invited? Uh, how did that whole thing go down? Um, I first got invited. It was right after the World Juniors was canceled. So I was in Red Deer um, and John Van Biesburg, the GM of our team, um, who's the GM of the Olympic team too. He pulled aside um, me and Maddie Beneers and Brock Faber and um, told us that we were going and we were kind of just so excited, so shocked and just jumping up and down, hugging each other. I'm just excited. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you and Maddie and those other guys, uh, you're the first teenagers to play for Team USA. And I think it's like 30 years. So, I mean, what is it like to be making history in that sense? Yeah. I mean, I, I actually didn't know that. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, just uh, to be given the opportunity at such a young age. Um, you never know if it's the if it's the last opportunity you're going to get be given in this um, in this situation. So it was kind of just something for us that we we had to do. And how do you feel like your experience with the junior team last year and winning a gold medal with them has kind of helped you prepare for uh, the Olympics? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think just being on that winning team, um, being with a lot of good players and um, a lot of great leaders too, kind of, you know, help, help shape what, you know, me and Maddie, um, kind of the both of us, what we do. And um, yeah, just being with great guys and great coaches as well kind of helped help shape what we do on the ice. Absolutely. And I, I know that uh, it's, like I said, it's a young team. Uh, you're going to be one of the guys that has looked to, I mean, how are you preparing to be somebody that is going to be one of the guys asked to step up and, and, and help team USA have success? Um, yeah. I mean, if I'm asked to do that, um, you know, I'll be ready. It's kind of, you know, something I've, I've done my whole hockey career is um, I've been given, you know, situations and opportunities to, to do things. And I've been lucky enough to, you know, you know, have great people um, alongside with me to do that. So, you know, I'll be ready and um, I'm just honored to be there, um, be with great players and, and great coaches as well. Have you thought about what that first moment's going to be like stepping out on the ice? Uh, with the team USA Jersey on. Oh man, I'll just, I'll be so excited. Probably a little nervous too at the same time, but um, you know, I think, I know, I know my family will be watching, so um, I want to make them proud and um, make the USA country proud too. So um, I think all the players will kind of feel like that. And how do you feel about the roster? I know these are a lot of guys that you've played with uh, or played against. Um, yeah, no, when I saw the roster, I was like, Holy, that's a, that's a pretty good team. Um, even though we're young, um, some very good players on the roster and, um, I'm very excited to meet some of the guys that I haven't met yet and play with them. Um, I know it might take a couple of days to, to build some chemistry, but, um, you know, I'm not worried, even though we're a very young team, we're going to be a very skilled team and, and fast as well. So uh, are your parents going to have a little bit of a conflict of interest? Cause you guys play Canada and I know that they're, uh, they're, Canadian natives and you have dual citizenship as well uh yeah I mean I've I've played for um obviously the U.S. national team um for juniors and for two years so um I played team Canada a couple times and um even my family that lives in Canada cheers for me too so um my grandparents and uh, my whole family up there they always they always cheer for USA when I'm playing which is which is nice that is and I mean, just to go over the last few years for you, 2020, you're drafted. 2021, you win a gold with the junior team. And now 2022, you're named to the Olympic team. I mean, how do you keep one-upping yourself like that? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I think I'm just, you know, very blessed and lucky to, to be given these opportunities. Um, not many people get them. So, you know, I'm just, I'm very honored and, you know, very thankful that I have, you know, two amazing parents that are always there alongside me and, you know, helping me when I need it. So, yeah. I mean, you talk about your parents. Uh, what was it like growing up having a dad that played in the NHL, had a very successful long career in the NHL? And uh, how has watching him and, and his help guided you through your own career? Um, yeah, no, it was very cool. Uh, we moved we moved around a lot when we were younger, just um, him playing and all that. But um, he's always been there um, helping me with hockey and all that stuff. And uh, my mom with the school side of that too. So um, it's kind of, you know, perfect balance of both worlds. But um, I think just with my dad, he's, 
he's somebody that I, I can always count on. Um, he's not the, the type of person always to yell at me. Um, you know, he's very, you know, you know, nice with all the stuff that he does. And, um, if I ask him to come out on the ice with me and whitefish in Montana, um, he'll always say yes, which is pretty cool. And I know, uh, like you said, you moved around a lot, but it seems like whitefish has always been, you know, had a special place in your heart. So how exciting is it to, to represent them, you know, now on the international stage uh, at the Olympics? Yeah, no, it'll be very cool. Um, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of hockey and whitefish in, in Montana just to start off with, but I know the game's growing there. And every time I go back in the summer, there's more and more kids at the rink. So, um, that's cool to see. And, um, just, uh, you know, kind of represent those people um, at the Olympics will, will be very special for me and my family. Definitely will be. And, you know, for you, was hockey always just kind of the sport? Like you were just, you grew up on the ice or how did you find it for yourself personally? Um, yeah, I mean, with my dad, hockey's kind of always been a thing, but he's never forced that on me or, or on any of my brothers. So um, that's kind of just something you know, we personally have a love for the game, um, but I played other sports as well, just in high school. Um, I did track and field and um, soccer and all that kind of stuff. But um, just personally, I have so much love for the game of hockey and uh, I love going to the rink every day and um, just getting able to practice with my best buddies every day. So I think it's the best job in the world. It seems like it is. And uh, I mean, for you, how did you realize that you could, you know, follow kind of in your dad's footsteps and have a successful career that, you know, takes you from national teams to, to college to the pros? Yeah, I think um, it was when I went to the, the U.S. program in Michigan. Um, that was kind of when I first realized that I have a shot at doing this, um, you know, for quite some time and um, to make a living out of it. So that's kind of when I really started taking it more seriously. But you know, also at the same time, just having fun when I was young. But um, yeah, I think just being at the U.S. program really helped shaped, you know, my love for the game and, and the work ethic that I have. And um, I was lucky enough to have some amazing coaches there that you know I'm still in contact with today. So it's a pretty special world over there. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, having fun at the same time, but also taking things seriously because um, it's kind of a job now for me. Yeah, it is. And I mean, drafted by the Ottawa Senators. What was that like to now have to, to realize that your dream of playing in the NHL was real and to go fifth overall? Yeah, no, that was, that was pretty cool. Um, just have my family there for the draft and um, to be selected by such a great organization was, was pretty exciting. And, you know, I, I know whenever, you know, I get the opportunity to go to Ottawa, um, I'll be super excited and, um, and to play in the NHL, that's a dream. That's something I looked look forward to for a very long time. But, you know, kind of right now, I say it all the time, but I'm just living in the present, um, just having fun here at North Dakota with my teammates and, you know, having a shot at winning a national championship here. Yeah, I mean, it, it's an impressive program, uh, one of the best. Uh, were they always one of your, your favorites and in, in in the one that you kind of wanted to go to, or were there some other teams or uh, colleges you were considering? Um, you know, North Dakota was the only team that actually recruited me. Um, I was playing in Western Canada at the time and, um, not a lot of college um, coaches would go out there to scout, but the coaches at North Dakota did, and, um, they came to a lot of my games, um, and took the time to fly all the way out there and, you know, have a conversation with me after the game went a long way with me. So, um, and when I came here and just saw, saw the campus and saw the amazing facilities, um, that the rink has to offer. Um, it was an automatic yes. And, you know, that, uh, now that I've been here for two years, um, it's been a great two years and I wish I could stay here forever. Yeah, I know it's a huge uh, hockey community up in North Dakota. So how excited have they been about having uh, someone from their area represent? Yeah. The USA? Yeah, no, uh, the fans here at North Dakota are, are very special and they're the best fans in college hockey for sure. Um, being able to play home games here is, is so special. Um, yeah. And I'm very honored that I get to represent, um, you know, not just the people here, but um, my team as well. And I know my teammates are very excited for me um, to go, even though I'm missing some time with them, um, which is a bummer, but you know, they're excited for me and you know, that that's all that matters to me. Absolutely. And 
you, you talked about living in the present. So what does the schedule look like now uh, in particular with Team USA and, and heading to Beijing? Yeah, um, so I have four more games left with North Dakota, and then I fly out to L.A. on the 30th, and we're there for a couple days, and then we fly out to Beijing on the 2nd. Yeah. Awesome. And, you know, Jake, uh, as we finish this up, uh, what are your, I mean, what are your goals? What is uh, the aspirations and what are you trying to get out of it and, and try and help with Team USA? Um, I think my goal is kind of just being there is obviously to be the best player that I can, but um, just to learn a lot too. I think um, just being surrounded by great players and, um, amazing coaches too. I feel like, you know, they have so much experience and, you know, so much stuff I can learn from them. So just, you know, always learning, always listening to what they have to say. And um, then goal is to win a gold medal too. So mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of Olympians on the, on the earth, but there's fewer gold Olympians. So that's, that's something coach Quinn said to us the other day and that kind of stuck with me and um, yeah, I'm pumped up. Yeah, that is a good saying. And, uh, my last question for you is, for you, what does it mean to represent uh, Team USA and, and the Olympics in particular? Yeah, no, it's it's special. Every time I get to represent my country, I'll always do it. And um, to be to do it at the Olympic stage is even more of an honor. So um, I can't wait to get over there. Can't wait to throw on that sweater um, one more time. And you know, I'll never take it for granted. Well, once again, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Yep. Thank you and best of luck. Thank you. See ya.